WordPress is a popular CMS that allows you to build all kinds of websites. If you have a corporate site or an e-commerce site you would like to set up, WordPress is the correct platform for you. And this is where tools such as WP Squared actually step in to help you with the deployment process. Hi, my name is Humphrey Pire and I'm at Vopa Ake here at Voltron. And today's Tech Talk, I'd like us to talk about deploying WordPress websites using WP Squared on Voltron. And by this, you're able to actually develop a simplified WordPress hosting and management environment you can use to actually deploy these kinds of websites. What's WordPress anyway? WordPress is an open source CMS that actually has a 43% share of all websites on the internet. It offers a user-friendly management interface that you can use to actually install new plugins, themes, and all kinds of packages you like to beautify your website depending on your needs. And in case you experience any errors on the platform, WordPress has multiple community forums you can actually go ahead and submit your queries to actually be helped by other users that actually use WordPress as the platform of their choice. And among the tools that actually help you deploy WordPress is WP Squared. WP Squared is based on cPanel and offers WHM support, making it possible for you to create multiple accounts and share your server resources to multiple users. WP Squared goes ahead to offer simplified WordPress hosting with support for multiple sites and domains that you can actually attach on your server. And also, WP Squared goes ahead to actually offer you a user-friendly interface you can use to install plugins, manage backups, and all aspects of your WordPress site that you may need without actually logging into your WordPress backend. And among its notable features, WP Squared actually offers automatic backups and core updates for WordPress. In cases where your WordPress site actually fails, maybe as a result of a broken theme or incompatible plugin, you can actually use a backup to automatically recover your site. WP Squared also goes ahead and offers some domain management tools you can use to actually add new DNS records. And to actually help you manage your files, WP Squared offers the native cPanel file manager, which enables you to actually upload files, modify them, or even download these files to your local file system. And to actually secure your website, WP Squared goes ahead and enables automatic SSL certificates from Let's Encrypt as a CA. For each domain record that you actually point to your WP Squared server, an SSL certificate is automatically generated, making it possible for you to have secure WordPress sites without worrying about their certificates at any date. And also, if you're running a web hosting startup, WP Squared offers Extendify and WHMCS support, which enables you actually have custom billing and hosting tools that you can actually offer to your customers. And with white labeling support, you can use WP Squared to actually customize all aspects of it with your own company logos or documents that you would like to offer to your customers. Based on this background, I'd like to take you right into a demo where we shall actually get to deploy a WordPress website using the WP Squared Voltron Marketplace application. And so, without any further ado, let's get right into this process. So, to begin with our demo, first off, you'll need access to your Voltron account. So just navigate to the Voltron customer portal, click Compute, and now just find the Deploy button, click it to actually help us deploy a new instance on our Voltron account. So, right within the Choose type, make sure that you select the best instance type that you like to deploy with WP Squared. For instance, let me keep optimized cloud compute as my preferred deployment type. And now in the location section, make sure you select a location that is actually much closer to your users. For instance, let me go ahead and select Paris France. And now right within this choose image section, make sure that you navigate to marketplace apps and enter a simple keyword such as WP for WP squared. So click this WP squared marketplace image, select the instance plan. For instance, I'll keep the 4GB memory server selected. Select any additional features you like. Let's just navigate into the hostname field and let's give it a unique name such as WP squared. And now just click deploy now to actually get our server up and running. So give this WP squared deployment stage something like five minutes to complete and install all necessary components to actually have WP squared installed, active and running. And now that all is done, let's go ahead and click this instance to open the server management panel. And first of all, copy this IP address because you will need it to actually set up your domain that will actually point to the server. For example, I'm using Volta DNS, but if you're using a provider such as Cloudflare or Namecheap, please ensure that you use this IP address to actually set up a new A name record. So for Volta DNS, just expand this network tab, click DNS, and since I already have a domain right here, I'll just have to edit it. But if you do not have a domain, 
just go to the deploy page and click add domain. So this will enable you actually set up a new domain A record with your server instance as the only IP that is available. Right within this A name record, just edit this field and paste in your server IP address. Click update record to actually apply these changes. So click back to compute and open this instances management panel. Let's actually go ahead and find this application information section. Just go ahead and right click this and open in a new tab. And right within this browse of ours, we are prompted for the self-signed SSO certificate because the server is using actually a server IP address instead of our domain. So just accept the risk and uh, let's continue for now. And as you can see, we are greeted with a WHM and WP squared login page. So to actually pass through this page, just make sure that you do keep note of the username, which is root, and copy this password to your clipboard. Now let's paste in this password to actually log in. And the first thing that is actually prompted to you once this setup process is complete is to actually accept the license agreement. And once you're done, just check this checkbox here to agree to all legal documents. And now click continue right within the name server setup uh, stage. And now that we are prompted to actually set up our name servers, let's enter an active email. For instance, I'll use this dummy email, user at example.com for just demonstration purposes. And right within them servers, let's go ahead and enter our domains them servers. So for instance, I'm using Voltra DNS. So let's go ahead and enter ns1.voltra.com and enter the second in the second field. Ensure that these name servers match with your domain. Otherwise, you may experience errors while deploying with WP squared. So click finish to actually access the WHM interface. And right within here, let's go ahead and set up a new WP squared account. So click create a new account to set up our first WP squared account. Let's go ahead and set up our domain. There is an auto-generated username where you can actually use your own custom field. For instance, I'll use the simple username that is best known, admin. And now to actually have a very secure password that is up to standard, just click password generator, copy this suggested password, and let's go ahead and actually paste it in this field to actually make sure our strength is 100 by 100. And let's enter the administrator's email that we actually need here. And now that this is done, Let's go ahead and actually create our first WP squared account. So just click create, give this process some time. And now that it's done, just find this new account info section and verify that the information you entered is actually correct. So as you can see in this section right here, I have my domain that is listed, the generated password that we actually copied from the password generator. And you can see the cPanel mode is WP squared. So this means this account is strictly for WP squared. So to actually go ahead and access our WP squared, just find this button here, which is go to WP squared. And we are greeted with another SSL warning. So just accept this risk again, since we are using a server IP. So within the opt-in, just select the kind of account that you are using. If you're using a business, just select this. And now let's click continue to actually proceed forward. And now let's actually give this website a name. For instance, example, website and let's give it a cool tagline something like greetings from Voltra. and now that we actually have a website name and a greeting that we'd like to actually display on this WordPress site let's click next to actually choose a theme that we would like however this process sometimes WP squared is known to lag at this stage to actually skip it just go back copy your server IP open a new tab and this time around make sure that you access the port 2803 so just go ahead and accept this risk and continue. Right here, we have the WP squared login page. So let's just go ahead and enter the username that we created in WHM, which is admin. And let's go back into WHM and copy the generated password that we actually used to open this WP squared account. And now that is here, let's click, let's go to actually access WP squared. So right within this WP squared interface, you can actually see that we do not have any website. So let's go ahead and create our first site. So just click uh, the create new site button right here and let's enter the domain. And now let's actually enter the site name that we'd like to allocate to this. For instance, example website and with a nice tagline like greetings from Voltra. And next up, let's actually choose the theme. For instance, let me go ahead and select 2024, which is the default for most WordPress sites. And now let's click to finish setup. So we have actually set up all necessary information that WP squared needs to actually deploy our website. And as you can see on this page, 
this process can take between 20 to 30 minutes to actually complete. And now that this process is actually complete, simply refresh the WP Square page to actually have access to our new site. And as you can see here, our new WordPress site is active. And to actually verify that, let's click this domain to actually access the page. And now you can see that we actually have our WordPress site with a default 2024 theme for WordPress and our name, which is example site. Now, if we go back to the WP Squared page right here, and this time around, if you click this button for domain details right here, you can see that we have multiple management buttons right here. We have the overview tab, backups, themes, plugins, and settings. However, if you notice down here, we actually have a simple section, which is for performance and traffic. So WP Squared actually monitors your WordPress performance and gives you a ranking here, depending on the kind of themes that you have and the kind of plugins that are installed. If we go right into themes right here, we can see all active themes that are actually installed on this WordPress site. And if you go into plugins, you can actually install new plugins, activate or deactivate any from your WordPress site. If we actually go ahead and navigate into this settings tab, you can see that we have a couple of tools we can enable. For instance, we can enable search engine indexing, enable hot linking protection, and a couple of other tools that you can actually explore in here. And in the advanced section, let's find this section here for the SSO certificate. And as you can see, this is my domain right here, and the insurer is Let's Have Crypt. So WP Squared automatically generates these certificates on your behalf. And once this expiry date actually clocks by, WP Squared will ensure that this certificate is auto-renewed without taking any manual action. And if you expand this database option right here, you can actually see our database name. If you click PHP My Admin, it takes you to the PHP My Admin dashboard that you can actually manage your WordPress site database. To actually go ahead and test if we actually have access to the back end WordPress administration dashboard, just find this button right here and click WP Admin to actually access our interface. And now that the interface has actually loaded, you can see that the default username is admin and this is auto generated because it matches our WP squared user right here that we actually set earlier. So right within the dashboard, if you go into plugins, you will see that we have all plugins that are reported by WP Squared and you can manage all aspects of your WordPress site right within there. And now if you click Appearance to actually see the themes that we have, you can see that just like as WP Squared reported, we only have one theme which is 2024. And if you just go to View Site, you can actually test if your site is active and running. If you go back to the administration interface, you can actually set up new users that you can actually allocate privileges on this WP Squared powered WordPress site. So depending on your preferences, you can customize WP Squared and this WordPress server to actually ensure that your WordPress site is up and running. And so we have actually deployed a WordPress site using WP Squared. And this is a very powerful tool you can actually use to deploy multiple websites on your server. The WP Squared Voltron Marketplace application actually comes with a license that is automatically activated upon deployment. This enables you actually care about the security of your WordPress site and develop them to actually match your users' needs. And so, if you're actually planning to run a web hosting startup, you can use WP Squared to create multiple accounts and apply custom labeling to actually match your company's needs. And so, I hope you did find this tech talk useful. If you did, I'd like to wish you all the best on your next WordPress deployment using the WP Squared Voltron Marketplace application. Once again, I'd like to thank you for watching and see you in the next Voltron Tech Talk.